exciting adventure. A ceasefire on the new frontier. Fireball's back in the race. Saber Rider sharpens his style, and Colt finds romance in Big Sky Country. But what about the Outrider Vapor Chambers and the secret ends of Moy? Do they spell disaster for Planet Yuma? Find out in this incredible adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriff. It was an incredible day for the new frontier. Peace had been declared, and the Outriders were coming to Planet Alamo to sign the treaty. The cameras were there waiting when the top Alamo commanders prepared to meet the Outriders. We had also sent a delegate to their planet. The terms of the truce had been difficult to accept. We had agreed to disband the Star Sheriffs and disassemble Ramrod. But if true peace could be achieved here on the new frontier, then it would all be worth it. Announcing the Supreme Trail Boss, Nemesis! I'd like to welcome you to Alamo Base, in the spirit of peace. I find peace treaties very boring, so let's take the pictures and get it over with. Right. I wonder how our delegation is doing up on the Outrider planet. How do you think they're doing, Race Boy? The Outriders are leading them right down the garden path, showing them just what they want them to see. As you can see, we've disassembled all our weapons. Hmm. This room used to be full of blasters. Now it's completely empty. And this is the vapor tower where we house our master mainframe. The end. Degree. Well, this should be shut down immediately. It could be used as an attack system to raid the new frontier. I agree emphatically. This is the heart of their power system. It must be dismantled. Well, we can't dismantle it. It's out of the question. We need the nth degree for our future plans. No. Plans? Not military plans. Remember, we're still looking for a new planet to live on. Our planet is running out of energy. We can't stay here much longer. Without the nth degree, we wouldn't have a chance out there. We need it to find our new home. King Jure, what is it? I had this strange feeling about the nth degree, as if it were alive. Funny. I had the same feeling. The Vapor Tower stands well right now. Ramrod is being destroyed. This is a dream come true, the end of the Star Sheriffs. Hold it, I want those turbos terminated. What? There's no reason to scrap those turbos. There's every reason to scrap them. They're the heart of Ramrod. Look it, we agreed to disassemble Ramrod, and that's just what we've done. But we didn't say we'd wreck the turbos. Well now, what we have here is a deal breaker, boys. See if the turbos stay, I go, and the treaty goes with me. We were planning to put those turbos to peaceful uses, but if it's that important to you, I'll order them to be destroyed. Huh? It's a mistake! Demolish these turbos at once! Why, it's not that easy, sir. They're made of special alloys. We don't have the right equipment. I'd be glad to help out. 
What's up? They're wrecking the turbos. I don't believe it. Cooperative. I think we've proved that we're serious about peace, Jesse. I hope your side will do the same. No problem. Vapor power on. That guy's so slippery he could steal a hiss from a snake in broad daylight. Yeah. All right, Mr. Blue. Here I come. Stallion power on! Yeah, that was a pretty tricky move, Jesse, but you're not dealing with a tenderfoot now. Let's see what he's up to. It's a vapor chamber, and the life inside of it is hanging by a thread. How's that? They're in suspended vaporization, and it can only last for so long. There's not enough energy for us to exist here anymore. So we started putting them in vapor chambers. First, it was just a few of them. But as we used up our energy in feudal space battles, we had to put more and more of them in the chambers. Now, there's hardly enough energy left to keep them functioning. Hey, you can gloat if you want to, but that's why we're serious about peace. I sure hope this isn't an act, Jesse, for your sake. <laughs> ¶¶ 
But there is enough energy left to do this. With the peace treaty signed, we star sheriffs were enjoying the first leisure and relaxation we'd had in a long time. Our only question was, how long would it last? Pretty sloppy shooting. All show and no go. Cold? Why, that's the best shooting I've ever seen. Isn't anybody gonna beat that? Last chance, or the grand prize goes to... Over here! I'll give her a try. Colt, what are the rules? No rules, cowboy. You just shoot out the target as fast as you can. All right, pard, you pull that switch when I say go. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Go! when a guy wins a trophy for you. I thought you only used your blaster when you had to. Huh? It's one thing when people are in danger, but you do it just for kicks. Shooting and fighting all the time, it's no good, Colt. Well, maybe it's not. Pardon me, ma'am, but if you like that there fella, you shouldn't be so hard on him. What? A man who's done a lot of fighting, well, he gets used to it. That doesn't make it right. Maybe not, but it takes time for a man to learn new ways. How do you know? Yeah, I've been through it. I can tell you, ma'am, a little bit of understanding can go a long way. Maybe. I'm sorry I got so mad at you, Colt. I think you must have a lot inside of you that you don't show. I don't know. I guess fighting leaves its mark on a fellow. When I first went off to join the rodeo, life seemed simple. My skies were wide open. I waved goodbye to Mama and Papa, and they were happy, because I was trying to make something of myself. I remember watching them fly away after they dropped me off. Oh, Robin, they were so proud. Then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the Outriders came. They raided our dimension, blowing up everything. So, I gave up the rodeo and started bounty hunting for Outriders. I've been fighting them ever since, because they never let up. But they've let up now, Colt. It's over. You don't need to fight anymore, ever. I hope you're right, Robin. It's just, well, it's hard to believe the Outriders are really going to make peace. I can't get used to it. But when I look at you, you know, it makes me want to try. It does? Yeah, I start thinking how nice things could be between you and me, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, now that there's time and space and all that stuff. Oh, Colt, are you proposing to me? Proposing? Uh, Robin? Colt. Well, uh, it is a thought. Colt, when you were gone, I was so worried about you. Well, 
lightsaber. I know you can outfence those Flatlanders, but up here you've got to stay sharp. I guess you're right, Father. Oh, he was just sparring, Edward. He wasn't really trying to win. So you were going easy on your dad? Oh, no, I wasn't. Not at all, Father. Ah, sure you were, lad. It's all right. We're just glad to have you back in the Highlands. Glad that all that fighting's over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> Son? <gasps> what are you thinking? Oh, uh, nothing, Mother, nothing at all. Just some memories of the past. Well, it's good to have you home, son. Aye, that it is. Red Fury Turbo! Ah! What's the problem? Fireball! Yeah, I bailed out way back there, April. Oh, Fireball, you scared me. Oh. <laughs> Race ya! Star Sheriff's out of the way. We'll conquer the new frontier once and for all. <laughs> can Jesse's evil plan succeed? Have all the Star Sheriff's battles been in vain? Or can they reunite in time to send Jesse Blue on his final journey down the Vapor Trail? Find out on the next amazing adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. <laughs> <laughs> 